Hi, this is Dr. Mary Kathleen Figger coming to you from the Thyroid Channel, and today we'll be discussing celiac gluten intolerance and hypothyroidism. My patients often ask me, are they at higher risk for gluten intolerance or for celiac when they have hypothyroidism? And the simple answer is yes. While a celiac only occurs in one out of 133 people in the U.S., it occurs one out of, 100, one out of 13 to one out of 10 of patients who have hypothyroidism. So that means, although most hypothyroid patients do not have celiac, celiac is common enough to complicate thyroid disease and to be a co-occurrence in people with thyroid disease and requires some discussion. First, what is the connection between hypothyroidism and celiac? Well, the connection is that both are uh, located, at risk for both conditions are located on chromosome six and the human leukocyte antigen anti uh, complex that uh, certain subtypes of it lead to a higher risk of both celiac and hypothyroidism. Secondly, uh, in embryology, when we're being formed in our mother's wombs on day 17, the same cells that have made the small intestines travel up into the neck and also make uh, the seed the cells that, that lead to the thyroid. So that causes a, a higher risk of any condition happening in one being a condition that happens in the other because of homology between the two types of cells. In addition, um, families that have thyroid disease often have a higher risk as well of celiac and type 1 diabetes, lupus, and rheumatoid arthritis. So those two diseases occur more often. Although one does not cause the other, they can complicate each other. So what do you do if you uh, want to find out if you have one or both of those conditions? There are antibody tests that will reveal either Hashimoto's thyroiditis or will reveal celiac. However, both antibody tests are, uh, are sometimes incorrect because no test is perfect. Particularly for celiac, antibody tests can be negative if you have not consumed enough gluten in the, in the previous two weeks to three week period. But if you have symptoms of bloating, abdominal discomfort, brain fog, and you have hypothyroidism, you are at higher than average risk for also having the condition called celiac. If antibody tests were positive for both conditions, how do you proceed? Well, often when people have both celiac and hypothyroidism, it becomes harder to control their thyroid. The bowel, the villi of the bowel are swollen as a result of the antibody uh, assault on the small intestines. And as a result, people will get uh, swollen bowels, bloating, but they'll also not absorb vitamins B12, D, iron, and they won't absorb level thyroxin. And in those cases, the dose may have to be changed up and down several times, making it difficult to control thyroid disease. So what do you do if your thyroid disease appears to be controlled even with dose changes, but you still feel poorly? Well, it may in fact be not your hypothyroidism, but celiac that's causing it if you have bloating. Changes in your diet are often an, uh, a way to, to investigate whether or not celiac or um, gluten intolerance factors into your condition. If you were to make a stop of gluten in one to two months time period and see that you felt substantially different, then you might consider that the two conditions are co-occurring. Watch out, however, if your thyroid was well treated when you were not absorbing very well, if you were to absorb better in your small intestines, you might need to have your dose lowered. So in summary, celiac and hypothyroidism occur more commonly together than one would, would, uh, would expect. They are related uh, both homologically because the, the tissues are from same origin and they're also related genetically. If you have one and the other, it may make each hard to control. There's only one treatment for celiac, which is to stop eating gluten. So should you have these symptoms and feel that you have poor control of your disorder and you're not feeling your best, one, one consideration might be to lower the gluten in your diet. If, this is, if you'd like this uh, video, please give it a thumbs up uh, and hit the subscribe button. Thanks.